It's been a month since SAA was placed under business rescue. But the DA has already poured cold water on the bid to save the national carrier. The party claims the airline will never be financially viable. It says the consolidation of flights means the airline is sinking deeper into debt. SAA has cancelled some domestic and 10 international flights and passengers were accommodated by other airliners. That has prompted the DA to write to the business rescue practitioners, urging them to discontinue the process and place the airline under liquidation. The party says without selling tickets, it means there is no business. It's a misrepresentation to talk about consolidation because in order for the airline to make um, a profit, it has to fly passengers. So if the flights that it's got in its plans um, don't have passengers, then they have to then cancel flights and take the passengers off one flight and try and squeeze them onto other flights. It means they're not getting the sales. If you're not getting the sales of seats, bums and seats on airplanes, you're not going to make any money. You're going to lose money over and over again. However, SAA disagrees. It says this is a temporary measure for cash preservation whilst it awaits funding. Medicine has rejected the DA's call for SAA to be placed under liquidation. Um, I think that um, th that is not the best option for SAA. I think there is a restructuring option which um, seems to have uh, government support. And I think that uh, that could be successfully implemented. Mm -hmm. I think liquidation would be catastrophic. SAA has received bailouts amounting to billions of rand in the last few years. It still urgently needs 2 billion rand to keep business afloat. Lula Mamakia, SAPC News, Parliament.